Hi, this is uh, Chris from uh, Sixth Street Oak Arena. I just want to tell you a little bit about this video. Um, this is showing how we make the oak arenas. Uh, what you're looking at here is a couple of slabs being put into the what's called a ram press. It's a, a hydraulic press, runs off the compressed air that um, presses out two halves of the oak arena. So it goes under two and a half tons of pressure. Um, once the pressing is done, some air is injected into the bottom mold, which releases it, and then the top air is uh, put on, and then within a couple seconds here, the pieces that were just pressed out will drop off. Here's one, and here's the other one. At that point, there's a little bit of um, flashing that needs to come off. So that's what Grace is doing here, is uh, removing the flashing from the pieces. The advantage, is, the advantage of this process uh, is that it gives you a very consistent wall thickness, which allows you to um, create a very consistent chamber size so that all the oak arenas will be in the same key or pitch the same. Um, I'll be explaining more about that coming up in some uh, for, uh, uh, other videos down the road here, but this is just kind of showing you some of the basics of... Uh, so out of 25 pound bag of clay, you can get about 20, 20 of those ocarinas out of there. So here, this is uh, showing you um, how the two halves of the ocarina are prepared for um, assembly. So I've just punched in one of the holes on the bottom. Now I'm kind of starting the fiffle area there. Just put in a little uh, metal airway stick or windway stick. It has to be positioned very precisely. And then some clay is added, a little bit of slip first, and then some clay, which kind of closes that chamber. It's a very accurate way to um, get the airway position just the way, the way it needs to be. So that'll be kind of all smooth together. Here um, I'm starting to, uh, starting to create the, the window or the, the fipple area by simply making a round, kind of round shape. Um, eventually, I'll be using this tool to create the kind of teardrop shape, which is what I use in this oak arena. And that also uh, gives you a very precise um, size, so that um, which is very important to consistency as far as the, the playing of the oak arena. So at this point, they'll be scored and slipped, and um, the two halves will be put, put together. Um, and then there's quite a bit of smoothing and, and melding together that has to happen at this point. So there are the two halves go together. You can see that that airway stick is still in there so that airway doesn't collapse down. And then here's some smoothing of the two or uh, melding together of the two halves of the yoke arena. At this point, um, I'm not doing a lot of finish work. So there, there I'm pulling out the, um, the airway stick and kind of getting ready uh, to do the next step, which will be, at this point, they would actually dry a little bit. So a whole bunch would be put together and then that'll be allowed to dry and then eventually I'll be making the, um, the fipple part of it. So here is the next step. I'm just opening that airway up again. Again, I use uh, these really nice uh, surgical scalpels for that purpose. Very sharp, very uh, precise. This is just a little uh, bamboo tool that's used to do some refining of that airway. You can see at this point the fipple looks pretty finished, but it actually still has quite a bit of work left to do. There's that tool that can be used to um, measure, but also shape the, the fipple area which has to be very precise uh, down, you know, the tolerances have to be quite tight on those. So that's a metal airway uh, made out of uh, bronze, I believe it is. So that'll go through to start refining um, the airway and uh, creating a little slit that the air will come out, come through to hit on the fipple edge to create the sound. So here I've created a little burr by pushing that stick through. Now I'm going to go in and carve that off um, and then go, kind of go back in a number of times and, and uh, refine that. 
Now I'm removing clay underneath the fipple edge because there's just a fair amount of clay in there that has to be taken out. This really helps with the sound quality. So I'm kind of working that edge down slowly. Uh, again, checking it as need be to um, get it ready to actually cut the fipple edge, which has to be very, very precise. So this is the cutting of the fipple edge, which will um, start to refine the fipple down even, even more. Um, a nice smooth cut has to be made. Do it one half at a time. So at this point, the edge is actually getting quite sharp, um, but still needs a fair amount of refining, which you'll see in just a second here. So that just kind of gets that edge down a little bit and, and sharpened. Now I'll go back in with that bamboo tool and make sure there's no crumbs or little extra pieces of clay hanging in that window area um, that the, the fipple lines up. I'll be looking through the um, windway on a regular basis to double check to make sure that everything lines up right there. I'm checking the size, refining the airway, and that's about it for now. Again, I'm going to be posting um, a series of more how to make ocarina videos this is showing how i make them briefly but i'll be getting into more detail down the road thanks a lot for watching bye